All right. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Yeah. Big shout out to Contact Center Compliance for having us here and getting these videos. So thank you for that. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So tell us about yourself. I'm Debbie Conrad. I've been in the space for about eight years. I work for the lead group. We're a leading lead generation company focusing on the consumer finance vertical. Okay. That must be fun. How'd you get into that? Oh, I mean, I got laid off from my previous job, like obviously like eight years ago, and I was never in sales or any type of role that I'm in now. And so people have always said, Debbie, you need to try something different, step out of your comfort zone. And I think I was always a little scared. But once um, I interviewed a couple of times, I still wasn't quite sure what the industry was or what the job was, of course, because it's so crazy. But then I was like, I'm going to try it. So ever since then, I've loved it, learn every day. I mean, it's the most amazing, smartest people I've ever met in my life. And, you know, it's just great. You learn something and you get to work with some of the best people. That's awesome. <laughs> and so that obviously, when you when you get into a new role and you're learning a new position, that takes a lot, right? Yes, for and, sure. And so I'm sure that you didn't get there alone. Are there any sort of mentorship or any sort of support groups that you can contribute to your success? Because you've been there for a while. No, I haven't. Yes, exactly. I can remember my first phone call even, and like it was with Steve, or one of our owners, and uh, the. the Male's name was Guy Solomon, and it doesn't matter if he's Guy, but his name is Guy Guy. So, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so and we got on the uh, phone call and hung up, and I remember he called me back, and he was like, you did great, you know, and he's like, whatever you need from me, I'll always help you, and uh, even to this day, if we're at a show, like, we make sure to see each other for coffee or, like, just to kind of catch up, and he was just one person I could bounce off ideas, you know, because you're starting and you're like, what do these words mean, or, right. you know, because everyone kind of says things differently necessarily, and it's just, and the acronyms. There's exactly. always so many acronyms. <laughs> exactly. Why? Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. But uh, so he was a good one to like as a bouncing board. But then, you know, I travel quite a bit. And so um, that's where I've met Amanda and Sarah. And Link United's been a huge part of my world, too. So, I mean, I can remember we were in Boston Leeds Con probably five or six years ago. And we were sitting at a bar having a drink. And we were like, there's Joel and my company was actually with us, too. But besides, we're like, there's no women there. You know, yeah. and, uh, and if they are, they were like working the booth or, like as and we're not even in the industry. And so we sat down and we were like, who could we think, um, you know, who are all these powerhouses that we should try to form a group that's going to help each other out. And that's and from then I've been very fortunate enough that they've kind of let me help carry Link Unite a little bit. But it not only helps me, it helps, I think, anyone else, too, because it's just such a great group. Right, and the support that you get, the industry knowledge that you're getting, the connections, you don't have to go to a show alone. Right, exactly. You know, I, I, I do go to shows sometimes myself alone, and when you do that, it's it's really intimidating to be yes. the only female there by yourself, and it can be scary, too, and having people that you can contact that right. are going to be not only respectful and supportive of what you're doing, but they're also going to be able to accompany you when you walk out the door, so. Right, because, you know, when you do travel, too, you don't want to, you're, you're there, obviously, to work, but you don't want to be just not be scared to walk into the next event, you know? Right. And you could meet like the most amazing new contact, you know? And that's what I found is like, you know, I may not know them before I go there, but once I get there, it's just good to, I'm much better with faces, but you, you know, you can be like, hey, you know, and then you guys end up like, hopefully working together or at least like, you know, connecting, which is awesome. Right, or they have they have people that may use your service. For so sure. Right, mm -hmm. work as well and, and you know, when you're in sales, right? So yes. It's good to, to make those connections and have those networking. And so we had talked before, and you had mentioned that you have a couple of kids at home, and you know, as, as being a mom, right, you have your kids that are looking up to you, but you also have your job, of your, your responsibilities at your job. How do you manage that? Is there, how do you manage that work-life balance to really find success in both areas of your life? Well, I'm very fortunate, because the lead group's very, um, I should say, like, supportive and uh, welcoming of, like, work-life balance. So that's great, because I came from a world that was not. I mean, I, when my daughter was very young, my husband did most of the trips to the doctor. I had to miss out on a few, like, sporting events, you know, things like that, where I have a lot of energy. Very, I mean, people, I've never been one person to be like, you have to sit at a desk from 8 to 5. I'm, I'd be done at 11, and I was like, why am I going to sit here for another six, you know, six hours? So, coming from that kind of where, where I am now has been, like, amazing. And so, basically, like, I try to, like, I saw a speaker the last, last week who called it, own your morning. So I feel like it's very beneficial to try to get up a little early and no matter how much you hate it, try to get some kind of movement, you know, and then it gives you a little time to clear your head and kind of get the day going. So once I kind of do that, then, I mean, my kids are, well, Jack's a junior in college, so he's gone, but like, hey, she leaves at seven. So I go into work pretty early and then, you know, I'm, I come home, at, you know, in the early afternoon and either like walk my dogs or do something else. And then, you know, a lot of my publishers are overseas. And so at night I do get have to do a little bit of work, but it doesn't bother me. You know, so it's all, you know, you just got to connect and things like that. So I do find if you can kind of break up your day a little bit and 
get your mind clear and actually get some movement, it's very helpful. Oh yeah, because when you go into the office and you have personal stuff on your mind, you're not going to be able to do your job as effectively as if you could when you walk in with a clean slate. Exactly. Right? You're ready to rock and roll. And, and organization, of course, is obviously really important too. And, right. And managing that time, right? So making sure that you have time for your family in the day, but also you're accommodating your, your overseas clients, and that's really important. So yeah. And I'm sure that there's a lot of people that can take that advice as well. Yeah. Um, I personally struggle with my own work-life balance, so um, I'm taking my own little tricks from, from all of you guys here. Oh, for sure. That. I mean, there, it's hard. It's very hard. Or like when I'm gone even, you know, just to make sure like, and, you know, they might husband and daughter always laugh they're like we're fully capable you know but you know I'll be like make sure well, maybe now <laughs> and, yeah you know but you're welcome <laughs> yeah, exactly. but you know just making sure like if I'm I'll go to the store or something before them you know but or whatever but you know when you're gone it's very difficult to catch up on work and even on like real life you know right because your kids that relationship is very important especially at that, when they're at that age where they need to have you around but right so do your clients <laughs> exactly <laughs> I mean, or like when I travel to I do find times that I have to like go back and do a little bit of like emails and stuff before like, you know, I'm gone home from eight in the morning till midnight, you know? So, so you do it in the morning or you do it at night? I do both. Oh, well, I do, like for if I'm traveling for work, I'll do it in the morning and then like if I get a break at lunch or in between like going to dinner or something, you know, just to check and check in. Absolutely. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you sharing that. Thank you so much <laughs> yeah, for coming thank you. and talking about your story. Yeah, yeah. Great talking I'm sure to you. a lot of women are going to appreciate that and big shout out to Contact Center for Clients again yeah, for making this happen and we'll see you next time. All right. Thanks. <laughs>